noticed there were there were a variety of people that were, that were wanting to put together this bouquet, and they had their own flower to add to it. Because you see, it, it takes a village to raise a child. There are a multitude of people that have come together in order that they might be able to raise this beautiful dog that's here before us today. For 24 years, men and women have poured into your lives. For 24 years, your parents have sacrificed in order that you might be the woman that you are today. And so today, they celebrate. Today, they walk you down. And today, Jessica wanted to say that she, she heeded the admonition from our Lord in Hebrews 13, too, that she kept the marriage that chased. And that she is going to give the purity with the to her father. And her father is so diligent and he cared for her. <laughs> <laughs> and there is that laugh. <laughs> and so now, with, with this being identified, I, I want to ask the question who gives this woman to this man? Christ is going to do. 
Because what did Jesus do? Jesus loved us. Jesus loved us, and he was, he was not only willing to listen to us, but he was willing to come after us. And it was with the love that he was willing to lay down his life for us. Because you see, this, this marriage thing is so much more than just this intimate relationship between you two. It's a vivid illustration of what God has done in the cosmic creation of this world. He is wanting you to play a part. He's wanting you to play a part in the fact that God is calling for us to trust. Love is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love doesn't delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things. Love believes in all things. Love hopes in all things. Love endures in all things. Love never fails. And so today, with the understanding of the roles and responsibilities of what Christian marriage would look like, knowing that it would be saturated in a love that's more than a human, but so much more. Now we go into the opportunity for you, you all to be able to say your vows before Are you willing? Let's do this thing. Let's get the show on the road, show. Okay, so Jonathan, you'll be saying your vows first as the man stepping out to the position of only her. And I'll ask you to repeat that I, Jonathan, take Jessica to be my wedded wife. I will be true to her. Forsaking all others, keeping only to her from this day forward, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, to honor and protect in the midst of all life brings, so long as you shall live. Jessica. I, Jessica. I, Jessica. Take Jonathan to be my wedded husband. Take Jonathan to be my wedded husband. I will be true to him. I will be true to him. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Keeping only to him from this day forward. Keeping only to him from this day forward. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To honor and to protect. To honor and to protect. In the midst of all life brings. In the midst of all life brings. So long as I shall live. So long as I shall live. That's beautiful. And so with the vows that have been exchanged, they've decided that they're going to have a ring to be able to symbolize these vows. Ring bearer? And a bowl.